Singular strikes, not this gentleman. This man is drinking four or five, six in a row. What a great job. Man, they are trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This will be a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. Big head kick.
so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to a hero? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landed with more force and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one in the fight. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. What a round it was for him, DC, and of course the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. Ready fight. Ready. All right, round two. Oh, thwack, that is a solid kick right there. with a right punch there's so a little bit of a deception now on the field. he's mixing it up not that his opponent finding pattern in his fight stop from that previous round. It was the big knockdown. Ready, fight. Ready. Good. Round three of the possible five. Oh, that strike is blocked. Straight counter, is it?
Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop for this contest at 52 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Assassin. And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout.